So hi everyone and welcome to the video on the market supply function. So in the last video, we discussed the derivation of uh, the individual firm's supply curve using the three conditions and in particular, we zeroed in on the profitability criterion. Now, what we want to do now is we want to aggregate those individual firm supply to get the market supply. And essentially, that's what the market supply function is all about. And this function is obtained by summing up all the individual firm's supply curves at alternative prices. Okay, so recall first that in order for us to have derived the individual firm supply function, we needed to satisfy three things. The first order condition, which states that uh, P is equal to short run marginal cost. The second order condition states that um, the derivative of the sort of the short run marginal cost with respect to price is greater than zero. And the profitability criterion, okay, which states that the firm will produce if the price is greater than or equal to the minimum average variable cost. Now, uh, let's recall that a bit graphically. So in the last video, we showed this uh, figure and we said that the firm supply curve is given here. So this is the individual supply curve, that's QS. Okay, now the first order condition states that P is equal to SMC. So meaning at any point here, that is equal to P. Okay, second is that the derivative uh, of the short run marginal cost with respect to price is positive, meaning this curve here should lie on the upward sloping portion. And you note uh, this supply curve, this blue line here, okay, all points there are part of the upward sloping portion of that supply curve. And the third first order condition is that the price should be above minimum average variable cost. So we have minimum average cost here at point three. So all points above that point are part of the supply curve. So that's a brief review of how the firm derives its individual supply curve. So to get the market supply function that's relatively similar, so all we have to do is we have to add up all of the firms in the market's individual supply curve. So, okay, assuming, okay, assuming, assuming we have, uh, say, F number of firms, F number of firms, so we can calculate for the market supply function, which is capital Q S is equal to the sum, okay, of all firms, okay. So say uh, this is capital F, okay. Then um, Q, uh, Q, a particular firm, P, and essentially this is the market supply function, which is some function of prices in a similar manner that a firm's individual supply function is a function of prices as well. And the firm will supply that, okay, the firm will supply that for all prices greater than or equal to minimum AVC, okay, of the firm. So the firm, an individual firm will choose to supply again based on the profitability criterion when price is greater than or equal to minimum ABC. And if it's less than minimum ABC, then the firm would opt uh, not to produce anything. So that's QS equal to zero. Uh, that's four for all uh, P less than min ABC, F min. And uh, graphically, it looks very similar to the supply curve we've all been accustomed to. So that's uh, if we graph it P and then we have uh, Q here, zero. Essentially, the supply curve is an upward sloping curve. And this is your QS, which is equal to sum F equals one. Okay, to, um, sorry, H equals one to F of qf p and that's the derivation for the market supply function